Hey guys, Harsh here, back with the video. So today I'm going to show you how you can make this uh, Bluetooth speaker. So as you can see that this is a pretty simple design. But uh, don't judge a book by its cover because underneath it's an absolute mess. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for this build, I'm going to use a mini 3 watt speaker. And this is a 4 ohm speaker in particular. And on the back, as you can see, it is written over here, 4 ohm and 3 watts. So you will need to use a 3 watt speaker or a less powerful speaker because then the amplifier will not have enough power to supply the power to the speaker. And of course, we are going to use two of them. Then the, here is a simple switch just to turn on and off the speaker. So this will come in pretty handy. Otherwise, you will have to plug the cable out and plug it back in. It's going to be a hassle. Then up here is a voltage regulator. So this particular voltage regulator is so this particular voltage regulator is L7805 so this will take a voltage of let's say 12 volts or 7 volts and then convert it into 5 volts that we need so this is going to be very handy in this case and I will show you how I can connect these three pins in the circuit later on then we are going to use a bluetooth stereo module so this is a simple bluetooth stereo model and it is used to receive bluetooth signals from a smartphone and this will run on either 3 volts or 5 volts so as you can tell that I am already using 5 volts so this will be no issue in this case next up is the amplifier board itself so as you can see that this is the amplifier board and there are separate outputs for the left audio and the right audio so this is a pretty nice amplifier board over here and this also accepts the 5 volts output so that's pretty nice now as for the batteries or the power I should say I am going to use the 18650 batteries and these are both of 2000 milliampere hour so it will be good to see how this how long this will last and to go with these I am using these battery holders and uh, nothing too special about them I am just going to connect them in series to get an equivalent of 7.4 volts which is then going to be turned into 5 volts using this regulator okay so without further ado let's start building Okay, so now the first order of business is to solder the wires all necessary for the connections so, so as you can see that i have soldered all the wires uh, there are only two so nothing special over here so as you can see that there is a sign over here plus and minus so i have soldered the red wire to the plus section and the negative wire the black wire to the minus section over here and if you are using a different speaker it should be labeled over here or somewhere over here you need to check that and same with the other one now I also soldered some wires on the regulator itself so as you can see that this wire goes to the left rightmost pin and this red wire goes to the leftmost pin and these two black wires are common connected to the middle pin over here. So the input voltage is from these two wires so the 7 volts will be supplied from these two wires and then from here it will go to the output of these two volt wires. So this is our 5 volt output that we need for our connection and this is the input that we are going to use with the battery case so as you can see that i have connected the one negative end and one positive end and this will give us a equivalent of 7.4 volts which will then go into these wires over here and this regulator will turn them into 5 volts output for the connection of this amplifier and this bluetooth module okay so now i have created my power uh, unit so these are two 18650 batteries that are connected in series and which in turn goes to this regulator over here so this regulator will take the input of 7.4 volts and then convert it to 5 volts so now let's check the connection if it is true or not so i have my voltmeter over here so let's turn it on and check the connection so as you can see it is displaying 4.94 volts so that's pretty close to i think 5 volts so are very we are good to go now what we can do is install this switch which is over here this is a very small switch you can find it on any broken piece of toy which uses batteries or whatever and we can solder it to the positive end of the input wire for the 5 volts and then from there we can connect it to this modules over here okay so now i have soldered the power connection for the bluetooth stereo model and the amplifier over here and this is a pretty simple process as you can see at the back the points are properly labeled so you get the ground at the bottom then vcc on top and same with the amplifier module so you get the plus sign over on the left side and the negative sign on the left right side to let you know that this is the positive and negative so i have connected the red and black wire on both of them now we need to connect them together and you can do that just by taking taking both black wires and then just twisting them together and same with the red wires but uh, I have accidentally put some solder on the black wires that they are hard to twist and then you take these black wires 
now we can connect this directly to our power supply okay so now let's do a quick recap of what we have done so far so we are taking the 7.4 volts from this battery over here which in turns go to this regulator over here which uh, first goes to the left side of the regulator then comes out the right side and then on the positive side there is a switch over here which controls the flow of the voltage of course then from there these wo these 5 volts goes to this module the bluetooth stereo module and the amplifier unit now we can connect the signal wire which is the left audio right audio and the neutral line and this is also labeled on the back side of the stereo module over here as you can see right out ground and left out so now let's connect these three pins to these three pins and the order will be the same the left out will be connected to the l of the l side of this amplifier the ground will be connected to the neutral line which is at the middle and then the r out which is the right out will be connected to the r pin of the amplifier so now let's connect them okay so now it's done and as you can see that the connection looks pretty clean i mean i'm very proud of myself as you can see that the connections are over here so the left output is the white wire it is connected to the l of the amplifier board and then the black wire is of course the ground which is connected to the neutral wire or the ground wire in here the amplifier and then the right audio is the red wire which is connected to the r portion over here as you can see now what we can do is just install the speakers or solder them so here are the speakers and this is the same with the black and red wires so the black wire will go to the negative of the amplifier board and the red wire will go to the positive and same with the right speaker so now let's connect them okay so now as you can see i have soldered the speakers to the main uh, amplifier board so the positive wire will be connected to the positive terminal and the negative wire will be connected to the negative terminal they are very clearly labeled on this end and in this end so you you will not run into any problem or confusions now now i have pre-tested it so now there was a little bit of power Power issue. The power issue was that it draws a certain amounts of amps and it was above than one. So these amp regulators supply a voltage of power of one amp. So I have to solder another regulator on top of it. So just a simple fix for this problem and a very temporary one. But this fixed the power delivery issue because these speakers were drawing around two amps of supply at. Uh, the source with this uh, regulator so i have to add another one but uh, if you don't want to add uh, another regulator then you can single singly use a uh, just one speaker in that case now let's go to the connections again so first of all the power goes to the regulator so as you can see this is the regulator over here so the power comes from this end and output it with these two wires so firstly these the red wire goes to the switch a uh, simple switch as you can see and then these two wires spin into and power up the bluetooth module and the amplifier module as you can see and the left audio ground and the right audio are connected to the left audio ground and right audio of the amplifier board and from the amplifier these wires go to the speaker connection is all very well level on this end and on this end all are in positive negative so pretty easy to get now let me show you the pairing procedure so once you power it on they will first create a very loud annoying noise but uh, that's how they are and that's how the amplifier is defined so let me just turn them on and go to my smartphone and turn on bluetooth settings and here i will go to pair new device so i will go to pair new device and as you can see that it is showing as 3.0 bt so let's click on it and click on pair and then it will connect so as you can see it is showing 100% battery so that's pretty nice and on the top as well now let's play some music and see the quality so the music is not playing and the quality of the speaker is decent for the price i mean they cost very less but still very good so let me just turn up the volume So they can get pretty loud and this is just a bit of a test just to check that all our connections are good now we can go ahead and put it in a box so i took this box and cut it some circular holes for the speaker to fit in and this is just a simple box you can find the design of these box online pretty easily this is a simple flip box because we will need to frequently open this box to charge up the batteries 
but uh, if you have a balanced charger then you can also charge this battery inside the case so there's that but uh, for now let's just put them in and to do that i need to desolder the speakers and then resolder them again because i need to put them first through here then they will go inside so let's do that right now now i will place the speakers from outside the box to the inside and you can see they fit perfectly pretty nice so as you can see the one fall off but uh, i'm going to fix that by using some hot glue so there are little stands off as you can see on the sides of the speaker so as you can see and you only need to place hot glue over here do not place it on the inside because this will damage the speaker and the sound quality so only place the hot glue if you are sticking it on these metal struts okay so one is done now for the other one so just place it in from the outside and make sure to only glue it from these struts okay those so the switch is in now we can just jam everything inside of this uh, cardboard box so let's do that right now so battery goes in first then the amplifier and the board goes to the side of the battery and then the voltage regulator right on top of the switch right here and i am in a bit of hurry in making this product so i'm just going to shut it them off just like so and there you have it so now let's turn it on play some music Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you like it. And this was a pretty fun build, and I love the way how it looks now. But uh, I am going to paint something on it or attach a logo on the sides or whatever. So thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.